and we're back. Uh, I forgot to tell you at the end of the last video, and for this video, I went ahead and primered uh, the piece. I'm going to try a little different painting technique. I primered the pieces with a kind of a, a black wash and uh, kind of get the stonework to come out. I, th I thought it would look better on the video. And uh, the and so I just went ahead and primered it. And we're going to take it from here and see how it turns out. Uh, I have three colors here. And then I have a, a wash, which is a dark gray wash, which we're going to put on the last thing. But I have uh, a uh, gray sky, a uh, boulder color, and uh, light gray. And I'm going to try, try to make it all work. I am not the best painter in the world. So I know some of you can really, really outpaint me. But I'm still learning, and I'm going to try, I'm going to try this technique. Okay, I'm going to try to, to dry brush the boulder color onto the stones first. And I'm just, uh, I'm just adding the boulder color with a little, I'm, with a little dry brush. Not getting crazy with it. If any of the, uh, I'm under opinion. <laughs> I'm under the opinion that if a piece of, of uh, kitty litter doesn't want to stay on there, well, that's that's fate because I only want pieces that stick. So, but anyhow, you get the idea of what I'm doing here. And any, any kitty litter that falls off, well, sorry, sorry, you don't get to be a part of this. I'm just giving a dry brush. And it's already starting to come out. Already. I like to use a paper plate. Just buy them for a Dollar Tree or Dollar General. And they just... And see, that is already starting to come out. And I haven't even added the other colors to it. Uh... Let's move on to the next one. Just lay this down as a base. Yeah, I like the way this is turning out already. What do you guys think? Not bad for a base coat. And I try to paint things that are too complicated. Just get the paint on it and it looks great. That's, you know, and I know there's better stonework painters than me. So, uh, but, you know, you can paint them any way you want. But I'm just showing you how I'm doing it for this. And it is already starting to come out. You know, I'm thinking now that this is the way to do dungeon tiles, too. Cardboard, easy, cheap, great-looking dungeon tiles uh, for your dungeon. Now, I put that on very dry. So... I'm going to try a different color on it, and if it mixes a little bit with the color, it's all right. I'm going to get one of my other paint brushes here. I normally I would I would take time doing this, but we're shooting a video, so uh, I want to move right along. Let's put some uh, gray sky. This one here, I'm going to go a different way, and I'm just going to, with the brush, very dry brush, what do you think guys, is that coming out, guys and girls? Uh, yeah, there are girl crafters, and I don't want to forget about them. 
because they do an amazing job. I learned from them too. Anyhow, you get to see the idea here. That's coming along nicely. I'm just brushing the, the opposite way than from the gray, the dark gray coat I put down. Trying to get it to look oh, a little old stone. But yeah, I'm thinking that I'm going to experiment and I may shoot some videos i build an entire easy dungeon tiles. I know that the, the foam works well and stuff, but uh, this kind of K, K stonework, I'm really kind of liking it. And I'm thinking about doing an entire dungeon like this. I'm still putting in the, the light gray, the gray sky is what it is, really. I bet. You don't have to paint it real heavy. Just lightly touch up areas on it. <laughs> you know, I gotta admit, I do not make the most exciting videos in the world. So, uh, you can always fast forward through it to see the end result once you get the idea of what I'm doing but I like to sit here and just uh, talk to you all while I'm making this so all right but I would not be I do not uh, I would not be insulted if you fast forward to to a more ex uh, interesting piece of the video all right we have the, the, the two we have one more base color to add and I'm gonna wash out my brush I think I'm gonna get a smaller brush for this yeah we are going to add the white, the very light gray. Now I'm just going to highlight a lot of the edges here with it. Just kind of bring the paint back a bit. Oh yeah, I'm liking how this is turning out. And when I like something, I like it. Just adding another little texture to it. You know, this is coming out so well. I don't think I need to add the... the dark gray wash to this. Oh yeah, I think that's coming out nicely. Maybe I don't even have to add the dark, wa the gray wash. To this, I think I'm liking where this is going. Yep. Oh, anyhow, gang, you get the idea of it. Don't mind me. I am just going to keep painting here. Now, you can seal this with some old oh, Mod Podge or spray sealant or whatever. Uh, I like a little Mod Podge. It's now you know I have to breathe it all up. Yeah, I'm liking where this is going. So I don't even think I'm going to add a great wash to it. And the other ones, I didn't have all the colors I had now, the other pit tiles I made. But, uh...
well, well these new colors I've added in they 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 really brought the piece to life. So how does that look, gang? Last one. And we are going to call these roads done because I'm not even going to add a gray wash to it. I like the way they're turning out. Now, as promised, we've got the broken roads in. But in the experimentation of, of learning how to do this, I also made these uh, wilderness tracks, and they're they're not even roads really. They're just trails through the through the forest or the wilderness, but they came out really good too. And our next set of videos, I'm going to show you how we how I make those uh, wilderness track pieces that. They come out really looking good. When you see how they're made and everything, they're very similar to the string pieces I made. So, gang, I think I'm going to call these road pieces done and move on. I was going to give them a gray wash, but I kind of like them the way they are. So, uh, we won't even mess with washing them. And, uh, and yeah, I hope I gave you some ideas on how to make these broken road pieces. And uh, yes, I got gray paint on me. Uh, and then from that, from the next video, I'm going to show you how to make these wilderness tracks. So I will see you on the flip side.